BanjoBenClark.com. I'm Banjo Ben, your host here on the website that teaches you how to play mandolin banjo. This week is guitar week, and we're doing an introduction to cross picking. This is this is really good. You know, cross picking has uh, a lot of people think that a lot of things are cross picking, but I'm going to narrow that down a little bit. We're going to talk about forward rolls, reverse rolls, using alternate picking, which is definitely one way to do it. Um, and I'm going to give you some great exercises that really strengthens your pick hand so that there's no weak spots in your cross picking playing, which has to happen before you ever get fast cross picking. Okay, we've got to get these fundamentals down. Then we're going to take You Are My Sunshine, we're going to play at a time through applying our forward rolls, and then play at a time through applying our reverse rolls so that we're just all over these strings and accurate and strong and sounding good. If you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube here in a moment, I'll ask you to come over to the website, banjobenclark.com. You can join us at Gold Pick member as many of you have. You can watch all of my videos, download all the tabs, uh, just like this lesson, and I have three different speeds of MP3 rhythm tracks that you can get. So let's jump right into uh, cross picking. Cross picking. You know, cross picking is one of those terms uh, that can have a pretty wide definition. There's lots of different things out there that people think cross picking is. I'm going to teach you um, a pretty narrow definition of what cross picking is. And then after we learn some exercises to get our pick hand really working on it, we're going to work uh, those newfound skills into a song, uh, You Are My Sunshine, which is a lot of fun to do. Now, what am I talking about whenever I talk about cross picking? Well, me personally, I'm talking about using a flat pick to pick. Uh, individual notes through multiple strings, okay? And, and it mimics much uh, like what a banjo might do. So, you know, some of you are banjo players, but if you're not, you know, one of the things that a banjo player also does is what's called a forward roll. And that's just where he moves his fingers forward or down through the strings. So it's just a three note roll, right? Well, whenever we're cross pick, we're gonna take a flat pick and we're gonna copy that, but we're just gonna use our flat pick. In the same way, a banjo player might do a reverse roll, where you play up or back through the strings. Well, we can take a flat pick and we can copy that as well. Okay. Now you can cross pick on more than three strings. Um, but, you know, technic, or usually, I'll say usually, a three note pattern is kind of what sticks out and, and kind of defines uh, the cross picking sound. Now we're going to be using alternate picking, okay? You can cross pick and not use alternate picking, but we are. That just means that for every single note, we're going to change pick direction. So if we start with a down, we'll then go to an up, and then a down, and then an up, and then a down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up in the same way for our reverse rolls. And that takes a little practice if you've never done it before. So that's what we're going to do here. Let's go ahead and throw up the first line of tab. And we're gonna look first at what I call this forward roll. And um, let's just look at what the basics are uh, there in measure two. Let's start on our D string. And we wanna keep our wrist nice and loose. We don't wanna do this with our arm and elbow. We wanna to try to um, move through these strings using primarily our wrist. But we're gonna do a downstroke. You see those little uh, black arrows beneath the notes? That's the pick direction. And so for this D string, we're gonna do a downstroke. Then we're gonna play the G string with an up. And then we're gonna come on through with a downstroke on the B string. That's what measure two. So measure two sounds like this. And that's what I would call a, a downstroke lead uh, cross-picking forward roll. 
It just means that we start with our down strokes, so we go down, up, down. And you might just want to pause the, the video and just get with those three strings and just practice to where you can do that slowly but accurately and cleanly. Now the next one we're going to look at is measure three, an upstroke lead. And because this is a three note roll, you're going to be switching back and forth between downstroke and upstroke lead rolls. But we're going to do the same three strings, the same three strings, but we're going to start with an upstroke this time. We're just breaking it down into components that we can handle. So let's start with our upstroke on the D string, then a downstroke on the G, then an upstroke on the B. Can you do all three of those without messing up? Let's start with an up. Down, up. Up, down, up. Up, down, up. Up, down, up. Now what you, you might want to pause the video and get a little bit more proficient of that. Try not to look at your pick hand, just feel it. Okay, and then you might want to also switch around to the other strings. You might start down here and practice the downstroke lead um, roll. Or you might start on your A string, practice an upstroke lead roll. Okay. But once we have that down pat where we at least understand that we're going to be switching pick strokes, you need to be careful because your, your brain's going to tell you to try to do two down strokes or two up strokes in a row. I'm just telling you right now, it is. And, and yes, you can do that. But we're, we're going to learn, and it's going to be very valuable later on, we're going to learn how to do it with alternate picking. So just really pay attention to these pick stroke arrows that are beneath each one of the notes, okay? It'll be for your own good, even if it's a brain bender. And here comes the brain bender. It measures four and five. We're gonna do a continuous stream of these forward rolls, okay? And we're gonna concentrate just on this uh, fourth, third, and second strings, okay? And of course, you can take these exercises and move them wherever you want. In fact, I want you to do that. But we're gonna start with a down stroke, just like measure two. Down stroke coming up through the B string. And then here's the trick. We're gonna come directly back to the D string with an up stroke and do the up stroke lead forward roll. Then come back for a down, then an up, and then a down. Okay, so if you look at measures four and five, we have five different complete forward rolls. You see that? And so every other one starts with a different pick stroke. The first one will start with that down, then an up, then a down, then an up, then a down. Now, if you've never done that before, that is tricky. And so you just want to slow down as slow as you possibly have to go to make sure and get those. You can look at your pick hand. Eventually, we're going to get away from that. But here's what I want you to do on this exercise number one. After you get the concept down, I want you to concentrate on accenting the D string. And we're going to systematically teach our pick hand how to do really strong forward cross picking rolls. So I want you to play it through again very slowly but we're going to make our D string louder than the others. It would sound like this. Okay, so we are telling our brain, and our brain is telling our hand to accent every time you play that D uh, note. smooth and don't worry about going fast right now that will come and it takes a while for this speed to develop now let's look at exercise number two because now is when we're going to start making our hand do some different things to really drill this into our mind